I am muted. That's all right. Great. Great start to doing this. Anyways, good news, everyone. The version 1.3.2 patch out finally, and I'm going to read it for you guys. For those of you who don't really have access or don't really care about this stuff, let's I'll, I'll read this full thing in the first here. Hey, everyone. We want to start off by mentioning how much we appreciate folks jumping in and giving Seekers of the Storm a swing. We've never had so many people playing Risk of Rain 2. We also hear you loud and clear. This DLC fell short of your expectations. This feedback is fair. We'd like to take a moment and walk everyone through our plan to make it right. That's good. I'm glad that they're just being straight up honest with it. I'm, I, a lot of games will like try to defend themselves when they have a poor release, so that's good to hear. Um, I have read through this all the way through, but I'm sort of reiterating my uh, my thoughts as I went through it. Uh, first, to be clear, we're committed to making the DLC everything that you expected and deserve. The team already jumped in and knocked out solutions for a bunch of the bugs some users are reporting. The full patch notes can be found below, which I will. I'll read like the top five, but there's a lot. So um, a lot of really small things, mostly VFX changes um, that people were complaining about. Finally, the multi shops are lit up though. <laughs> Big news. Holy shit. The game is sick. Uh, but anyways, the biggest ones are resolved a bug with the way builds are compiled that occasionally led to behaviors being erroneously tied to FPS. I don't know how many this fixed, because uh, it's worded kind of vaguely, but a lot of behaviors, whether it be character attack speed, enemy attack speed, enemy spawn rate was the biggest one, was tied to FPS. And if that's fixed, that might have fixed the game for me personally. Obviously, the bar is pretty low, but the FPS was definitely the biggest issue. I addressed an issue that some users reported with items not being picked up and interacted with. I ran into this with my blind reaction. I said I was going to post my blind reaction and I just never did because it wasn't very good and the DLC wasn't very good too, so... Also, that fell short with the editor. Anyways, this is the Risk of Rain 2 update video, not the Socks Needs Help update video. Um, and then finally, Mithrox will no longer nearly become invisible upon stealing the Warp Echo. This is cool. This is great that they did this. However, I believe that there were like at least two other items that also did this. I believe it was the Antler Shield and the Chronic Expansion also that like almost made Mythrix immortal because of this. So I hope those were also fixed. I have no way of like knowing, but I feel like that's pretty important. Um, but it's good that the Warped Echo doesn't make a memorial anymore that's pretty important uh because it's a common item if it was like a lunar item that was making a memorial i wouldn't really mind that much if it was if it took a while to be taken out because it's like you're not gonna have those and they're really easy to avoid but this is the first step these patches will continue to roll out on a regular basis as we work on additional fixes that to me is like the most important line of this whole thing is that they're not done and they're saying that if this is the first step which we'll get into it later uh that's really good because this is a lot this is a lot um beyond bugs the team is also looking closely at your gameplay feedback we want seekers of the storm to be the best possible version of itself and that involves listening to the community while we're focused on bugs for now we'll be looking to implement more of those gameplay updates in future patches i like that they're saying in future patches i want them to fully focus on bugs maybe give us one or two gameplay updates i think there was one down here that they've it's like slightly fixed which is cool but a lot of like quality of life changes as well came with this uh which weren't necessary but for like for the time being but i uh do appreciate that they are thinking about fixing some of the gameplay stuff because a lot of it's weird uh lastly we are going to post notes with the release of every patch starting today good to know ignore that voice crack that way it will be clear which fixes are arriving sometimes we'll fix a bug that inadvertently changes something else and we appreciate you continuing to share feedback when those issues arise and that's really the most important part on our our end is to keep up with the constructive criticism you know keep it up because that's the most important part here is to keep telling them what's wrong and then we'll get we will see change and that's that's important a game that countless people love anything that jeopardizes the experience is something we take very seriously we hope that in the coming days and weeks we can earn back your trust and we know that it's going to take time and action thanks for now the risk of rain team great news i think this is all ups um 
I still, I, I only problem I think here was that they they didn't clarify that the other items that made Mythrix immortal were fixed, but who knows. Anyways, full patch notes are here. Sorry if you're gonna get tired of these gifts. I can't stop them, <laughs> but they're gonna get kind of annoying. Um, as you can see though, with this gift, the infinitely stacking item bug just by holding interact next to an item is finally gone. You can't do that anymore great. This top blurb really is the most important here. Uh, Acrid is finally fixed, apparently. I'm definitely going to play him uh, and see how he is. Uh, and the teleporter will no longer spawn in inside geometry at real rally point rally point delta yeah all right there's the new england accent i just woke up so <laughs> it's it's here to stay that's in the patch notes too is i'm getting my new englander accent back uh addressed an issue some players reported where mythrix would become invincible and in stealing your warped depot awesome and then this is just like a bigger way to say the fps was fixed great news i'm not gonna read through all of this uh if you guys want to see the patch notes it'll be up on the steam website i'm looking at it on the steam page through the uh app not much that i really knew about mostly because i hadn't read that big doc but uh like the item highlights is finally back so items will stay highlighted great wonderful uh seeker sojourn ability finally works now people oh it's gone. I hope you enjoyed the patch. It's gone. No. Um, anyways. Uh, uh, but yes, yeah, Seeker Sojourn ability, the, the utility is no longer like blocked if you're not the owner of the uh, multiplayer game. And uh, yes, they fixed the uh, damage indicator. So you finally know when you're taking damage. Uh, somewhere else, I don't know where it is. Uh, they also said that they fixed like how fast the health bar updates because it looked like you were taking healing over time when you really weren't. Apparently there was a glitch where you couldn't where you were you were able to escape shattered abodes without like just taking the teleporter or the halcyon thing so that was fixed lots and lots and lots of changes here pretty great uh there was also like i said quality of life changes they didn't need to add this but like the jump pads look different now on <laughs> so that's cool uh <laughs> not really interesting uh, but i i guess it's all right that they did that um again these are things that should have been like part of the beginning but it's good that they're happening now but rather than never uh, also if you notice here you probably can't see it because it's really small but there was also that glitch where you're getting infinite stacks of warp, warp deco with heretic really just an easy overlook thing some things like this were fixed where the uh rail gunner's utility was completely broken um and yeah i, I believe that's all the important things lots of really tiny things that don't really matter but that's all and that's great news. It's all great news. And I'm really glad that they're at least trying because this came out a lot faster than I really expected it to, which is great. So this is the first sign of what's to come, which I think is great. Um, I don't have a list on hand of like what they didn't get with this change, but I'm sure that's definitely on the list. Um, I'm going to go play maybe two hours of the game if I have time to try and get like a vague picture of like whether it's better or not and i'll put that in the uh, description below I'll, I'll put my thoughts on that in the description below but other than that thanks for watching i don't know if i'm gonna keep up with updates like this but you know i thought i might as well jump to the gun because i got I, i'm finally first to hear about it at least on my end there's probably already a disputed origin video out but uh, <laughs> there's a, he is insane i wish i had the uh, work ethic of that man and honestly the rest of the risk of raid tvs as well because you know it's a it's always a look up to them thing anyways i'll stop glazing and i'll end this video now here's to the future of risk of rain 2 let's hope it's fixed Bye bye